All right, guys. So today we are testing out Scarlet Spider and the available Web Warriors in Doom Raids. But before we go there, I wanted to show you my team and maybe explain a bit what we are missing at the moment and uh, how they synergize together in the in the raids. So first of all, uh, the old characters uh, don't need. Uh, like full team to get their benefits But the new characters all have these passives that require uh, Four other web warrior characters in the team to get the maximum benefits and uh, If we start with uh, Scarlet Spider's passive you can see that uh, in here uh, on spawn, if this character has four or more Web Warrior allies, generate two ability energy for five random Web Warrior allies or self that were not at full energy. So this is um, the ability that sort of uh, enables this team to be actually auto played in uh, in in the raids because you can just spam your abilities and. Whenever you start a new node, you will get more energy and can start off when you where you left off. So that means that you don't need to be doing the, those all the basics at the end of the uh, end of the raid or, or the node, and yeah, sort of get to use the full abilities of the of the team. Um, Scarlet Spider has uh, the passive as well, uh, and over here you can see that. Um, in raids, if this character has four or more Web Warrior allies, uh, apply offense up for two turns and death proof for two turns to all Web Warrior allies. Rest of the uh, part of the passive uh, work even with the incomplete team, but these both are uh, really uh, useful when when fighting in the raids. But I'm pretty sure that they these guys can do it even without those uh, benefits. Um, Spider Punk is of course not in the game just yet, but of course Spider Punk would give our team 30% more crit chance. Uh, and um, what else? Oh, and the the clearing of the heal block on on Web Warrior uh, crits. So definitely something that uh, need to be aware of. But yeah, that's it. And here you can see my team. So yeah, I was. Hoping that I got more red stars on, on Scarlet Spider, but what can you do? And you can see my they're all gear tier 15, all are eight, uh, level 85, they're all ISO level uh, 3 blue. And I've decided to go with the ISO classes that work with the full team. So this might not be the best ISO classes for a... Uh, uh, for an inco incomplete team, but I'm not gonna change it just for that. So we're using uh, Spider Man's Skirmisher, and I think this is a good idea because you really want to land those debuffs that you do, and of course Spider Man has, has that those um, slows and defense downs on the on the special, and when you T4 this, you get five two turn uh, defense downs and slows and that's really good and you really want to land those because m a lot of the uh, synergy between the team is uh, on between the landing of debuffs and slows and yeah you just want those to land so in that sense I think Skirmisher is the best one for uh, Spider-Man. Also landing this stun on a critical point might be super relevant so there's one more reason to be uh, using Skirmisher with the Spider-Man. Um, Miles Morales is as a striker and that's mostly because of his uh, basic. Um, he can actually clear some buffs with the basic and with the assists as well, which he gets from uh, Ghost Spider. So, and of course the ISO 8 attack. So all of those are clearing buffs and in that sense, it makes it makes sense that you have a striker on on uh, Miles Morales. I have the uh, special T Ford and I have the ultimate T Ford on on him. On uh, Ghost Spider, I have everything maxed. Uh, I have Raider on here because he actually uh, synergizes with the Raider class and the uh, extra uh, crit that they get from. Um, 
uh, from Spider Bank as well. For example, the special over here uh, has a 60% extra crit chance. And when you have a radio class at ISO level blue 3, you, you can actually uh, cre you have a 100% crit chance on this. Uh, just remember that if the enemy blocks, you won't be critting. So in that sense, you won't be doing that ability block if they block. So be aware of uh, deflects and characters that have a high block chance. Uh, Scarlet Spider has everything else except for uh, the basic T4. And he's a, a raider as well, and it's mostly because he actually does every he, every one of his uh, abilities are doing multiple targets. And I think uh, when they when the team is actually synergizing with crits, uh, it's really good to have them as a as a uh, as a raider instead of a striker. And I think someone actually has calculated that uh, in um. In a vacuum, uh, the raider is almost uh, as close to damage as as the striker is, or, or might even be a bit better on damage than than the striker is. But they have their own benefits in in different characters and different uh, situations. But I think the raider is really good for Scarlet Spider. All right, so let's get into it. So uh, we are at Doom Two Point. Two, so we're not quite yet in Doom Point Two Point Three, but uh, and I th I don't think we're gonna go there uh, anytime soon because it feels unnecessary, and of course we have we have to clear this first before we can go there, but yeah, let's go in. So naturally, I'm I'm using my um, Spider-Man symbiote as the uh, fifth character in the team. Uh, gives some more benefit for the team with healing and of course it's a really good plug and play character in almost any team but this is our team and this is the composition I'm using um, Spider-Man symbiote in the middle just because he's quite tanky and he can heal himself so in that sense he can be in the middle uh, to take some damage I'm using um, my weakest tune uh, with the Scarlet Spider on the on the side and Miles Morales behind him because Miles Morales can uh, go into stealth and cut those uh, chains to Scarlet Spider and hopefully Scarlet Spider doesn't die. And I haven't even thought about uh, Spider-Man or Ghost Spider too much, but I think it's actually better to use uh, Spider-Man in the back and Ghost Spider in the side just to make sure that Ghost Spider doesn't get too many uh, splash hits on her. So, something like this. All right, let's go in. So yeah, um, if we had a full team, we would start off with uh, two turn offense up on everyone and two turn uh, um, death proof on everyone. But since we don't have a full team, we just get these buffs. So let me think. I think we can actually... Let's just go with the turn me rewind on Emma. We all know that uh, uh, cleansing all of our debuffs is actually quite nasty against the symbiote as well. And I've, I'm pretty sure that it goes the same way with the um, uh, web warriors. All right. So this is prolonging these debuff so yeah let's just go in there and prolong those now that we have the chance and I'm gonna be doing the special from here and getting some uh, debuffs and slows in too bad ghost and vision actually dodged those but well things happen uh, let's try to give at least vision one more and hopefully get the chain to that coast but we didn't all right, so now we can blind someone who's slowed. Uh, I don't think we have any super good targets, but let's go. Let's try to kill that Scarlet Witch. Um, I think I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using my abilities a lot because I don't 
this team is so fast that they can get those abilities back quite soon. We don't have that extra um, extra uh, energy from Ghost Spider because we don't have the full team, but I don't think it matters too much. And there's the freaking awesome ultimate from Scarlet Spider. I really love the, uh, the animation on that and the sound effects as well. They are really cool. All right, so let's think about this for just a second. I think we can kill, hopefully, ghosts. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure that these guys die before they can do anything. Uh, let's start from here. I can actually don't even know that slow might help a bit. And yeah, let's just spread those around because we can. I could have saved that for the next node, but yeah. I don't think we need to bother with that. Alright. Elves are definitely doing some work in there. A lot of... Um, a lot of evades and of course those uh, extra attacks from the evades. But what I heard uh, from uh, Remenex, so shout out to him, is that you don't need to be worrying about uh, those elves too much. They're actually not as uh, dangerous as they might firstly seem and you should be more aware of uh, like the characters who can actually uh, disrupt you in one way or another because disrupt will be blocking uh, the steady chain of uh, of the buffs that spider-man's uh, passive actually spreads around so whenever you are doing a debuff on the enemy team you will be getting one buff from uh, spider-man to to the uh, Wipori characters. And if, if you have a disrupt that will be blocked and you can easily die because they're they are not super uh, tanky by themselves, so something like, let's say, uh, Black Bolt special or something could easily uh, kill them. All right, so let's go to the second node. So we have, a, we have definitely a few good targets in here. And... I'm mostly thinking about uh, Phyla Wells, because they can clean some Devos. Uh, we have uh, um, Moon Knight, with those nasty debuffs spreading around, so that's uh, definitely something to be worried about. And if I remember right, Graviton has some form of a, a, of a disrupt in his passive, if I remember right. So he's one of the characters that I want to kill before... He gets to do any weird shenanigans. But yeah, let's get into it. Second note. First note seemed easy. We had were in no trouble at any point. Um, we had plenty of time. Damage felt great. Um, yeah. Even though it's not a full team and we're missing a lot of the synergy, this is still feeling a really good team. Um, I think we want to start with slowing Philowell down she can actually be a bit annoying so let's just uh, put that ability block on on that kingpin just because we can um those those freaking immunities are quite annoying Let's give these guys the a defense downs and slows. Or well, slows on cable because this, we had this slow on, on Philo already. Alright. So, yeah, let's go with the basic. We can do some defense downs in there. Let's clear that tone away. Alright. And now we can blind someone. Let me think for just a second. We're gonna get stunned by. Let's just blind Graviton. And let's give Zemo some debuffs. Uh, we didn't actually land there, but that's okay. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just stun that because we can. I'm just using my abilities like I would be playing with the full team because it feels like these guys can actually. Uh, can use their abilities, they're so fast that you will get those back. So, right. 
Uh, we can blind even more. Just want to kill that Kingpin before he gets to do that. Um, offense up and def defense up. Hoping that we don't need to be using too many abilities on him and hopefully get to splash damage him down. He still has the ability block, so he's not really a big threat. At least not yet. Alright, so there's the Moon Knight. Definitely a target. Let's try to give him a, a debuff for two. And we did, we actually got to hit that um, um, White Tiger as well, so that's good. Right, so let's stun that other moon. Ah, uh, sorry, that other Philo. Well, since we got the other Philo well on, on slow. Uh, let me think just for a second. Let's clear that. Uh, that away. Now we could actually just spread these ability blocks and blinds and everything. But I'm most likely, I'm gonna be saving that. For, for the boss node, I'm just hoping I get get that uh, ability block on on um, what's his name Moon Knight. I'm just lagging a bit trying to play at the same time when talking, and <laughs> it's usually not working. Um, let's actually turn me to rewind you before you get to do those and. Let's try to give you a blind. That worked great. Let's try to kill you before you get to cleanse anything. And that's it for him. Everything's looking quite okay. Definitely not going to be using my abilities over here. Just going to be basic in where I can. Let's hope this. Kills them, it didn't. Uh, well, this will. Okay, let's give you a defense down. And my skirmisher clearing that defense down always helps. Let's give you a blind as well. Let's give you a few more debuffs. A bit more defense down. I was definitely. Um, Spending way, way too much time uh, thinking about my abilities over here, but all in all, it felt still quite easy. But now for the interesting part, which is the boss node. So how can we handle this one? I have no idea. I haven't tried this before. Well, that's sort of obvious because Scarlet Spider was just released, and I'm not on the test server. But yeah, let's just go in and hopefully we can get this done in a in a second. Alrighty-o. So, I think I'm just gonna be clearing that taunt away. Okay. Now we can actually, let's use this on rescue. I'm not actually, uh, let me think, do we? It does not, uh, Extend ability block. Okay, so I'm not too worried about that. Clearing positive effects from everyone who has slow. So getting those defense downs away, that could be really helpful. All right, let's give these guys some defense downs and slows. And let's extend these. And... Uh, yeah, I think my my ghost spider gets to go before that rescue. Please do not die just yet, because I have a plan for you, and it's the ultimate over here. So hopefully you guys like this. All right, it didn't quite spread everything I wanted, but still looking quite good. I don't want to be hitting that um, Doom before, before we his first turn, so we can make sure that he doesn't ultimate just yet. 
All right, and what the hell? Excuse me. What happened there? He took a turn. And he took a second turn right after that. How did that work? Let's see if we can just eat this ultimate. We'll be doing two, two uh, time speed. We have still some defense ups in there. All right, so we're still alive. There goes our symbiote Spider-Man, but I'm not too worried about that. I think these guys can still do it if they just survive this on onslaught of damage. What seems that they did survive. All right, so let's stun you straight away. We don't we don't want you in here. Uh, gonna be blinding you. I'm not sure if you're gonna do anything relevant, but since we can do that, we will do that. Uh, let's extend these. I think the blinds and disrupts and slows at least will be doing something. All right, so we're definitely are uh, in a bit of a pickle. It's gonna be hitting over that side a bit. Um, let's slow you down and... All right, we don't slow you down. At least we get to... Uh, let's give you some debuffs from Scarlet Spider. That at least works. All right, so that blind was actually useful. Uh, let's try to ability block vision. I'm just uh, like doing all the abilities I can on every spot I can, just to make sure that we get a chance to actually clear this. All right. But yeah, I'm in the flow, so I'm not sure what happened there, but it was super weird that... <laughs> that... Uh, that Doom 2 got a second turn right after the first one. Because even if he drops below 50% from the bleeds or whatever, he's taking a turn, so he would be getting 50% more um, uh, turn meter, and that's not enough to take a full turn. So I'm not sure, quite sure what happened there, but definitely something was going on. All right, so... I'm just gonna be spamming my abilities over here and, and we could do something over here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna be clearing these guys if I can. Besides that, um, Unfortunate Doom Ultimate, it felt really easy, and what can I say about the notice itself besides that, um, it didn't feel anything, it felt like you could easily handle it, uh, but there was like two mishaps in there, firstly uh, the ability block didn't spread on, on um, uh, Doom, which would have helped us tremendously. We could have just extended those and he would never never took in that uh, ultimate. But, and after that, we got that weird <laughs> energy sort of a thingy that was weird. But, yeah, I'm just going to be finishing this up and let's use someone else over here. I'm just going to be... Just, let's put anti-venom in there. I don't care. I feel like the rest, the four web warriors are there main thing in here and whoever you bring with them it's gonna be doing fine but yeah it was sort of weird i most likely when i look at uh on a replay i'm gonna be uh i'm, I'm gonna see that what happened there and now i'm just like confused i'm not sure what happened there but yeah oh uh, oh well it happens but i'm pretty sure that at this point we are quite okay already. I just put it over there because I want to extend those debuffs and whatever's and getting away those um, uh, 
deflects from Captain Sam is always beneficial because after that you when you get them away you can actually land some uh, crowd control elements on him like for example here the stun um, yeah of course rescues one of the high priority targets because of the ultimate head that she can do on the second turn oh uh, let's stun you that's uh, not stun but ability block uh, let's just do those uh, defense downs and slow in there and everything's looking fine all right so still feeling like these guys are awesome i really enjoy playing with them even uh with the not complete uh, synergy that they have uh, at the moment they still feel fun exciting they feel like full of options they feel like you can you can like plan your attacks and do like different stuff in different situations so so they feel like uh, super how would you say it's um agile on on, on different situations and most likely going to be a perfect team for something like the stark tower uh because you can you can just use these guys for super bad teams super difficult teams and you have a lot of control you have a lot of options it's gonna be yeah it's pretty fun but yeah that's it um if you have any comments please let me know any criticism any any questions i'm always happy to answer uh if you have any idea what the hell was that doom energy thing please let me know because i have no idea what happened there but yeah i'm, I'm just out, outsourcing the <laughs> uh, difficult stuff for you guys and hopefully get, we can get some idea what happened there but yeah hope you liked the video and if you did please like and subscribe you know the deal and see you on the next video all right bye